Lee Wallach. In 1960, when filming, he was 45 years old, and sadly, on June 24, 2014, he passed away at the age of 98 in Manhattan, New York City, USA. Blood. We're trapped, all 40 of us, by these three. Or is it four? They couldn't afford to hire more than that. Stories of my days as a medic in World War II. Watch every tennis match. Live for my family. Daily Mail. Lee is played by actor Robert Vaughn. In 1960, when filming, he was 28 years old. And sadly, on November 11, 2016, he passed away at the age of 83 in Danbury, Connecticut, USA. Eight men to a job in Mexico. That's right. How long? Four, six weeks. I doubt it do it. How much does the job pay? And I, I had to come in every morning at 6 o'clock and in my little sarong, which was a little tiny kind of strange thing that covered just the middle of me. Brit is played by actor James Coburn. In 1960, when filming, he was 32 years old, and sadly, on November 18, 2002, he passed away at the age of 74 in Beverly Hills, California, USA. Colleen told me what you said, and I say you're wrong. What do you say? He was, he was always throwing you off balance one way or the other. And it was marvelous to work with. I mean, that kind of a director is great to work with because it's never perfect. You don't... Petra is played by actress Rosanda Monteros. In 1960, when filming, she was 25 years old. And sadly, on December 29, 2018, she passed away at the age of 83 in Mexico City. But, yes, yes, I know. I wasn't afraid of you. It's my father. He says, stay away from those men. Con, con, esta, con esta devoción y con este amor, uno es generoso. Cuando se es dichoso. Chris Labrie Adams is playback actor Yo Brenner. In 1960, when filming, he was 40 years old, and sadly, on October 10, 1985, he passed away at the age of 65 in New York City, USA. Very young and very proud. Uh, the graveyards are full of boys who are very young and very proud. Presentation of children has to do with the respect that we must always keep for the individual human being. Bernardo O'Reilly is played by actor Charles Bronson. In 1960, when filming, he was 39 years old, and sadly, on August 30th, 2003, he passed away at the age of 81 in Los Angeles, California, USA. Guns. I admire your notion of their odds, mister. We'd come back, he'd have blisters on his toes, and we'd take the socks off and put them on the radiator to dry. <laughs> you talk about stink. Chico is played back to Horace Buckholz. In 1960, when filming, he was 27 years old, and sadly, on March 3rd, 2003, he passed away at the age of 69 in Berlin, Germany. Come on! Come to see me. You get out of my way, you dead farmer! in Berlin. Sie sind so in so einer Unruhe. Nee, nach Berlin ist deshalb, weil ich einfach wirklich Berliner, Urberliner bin. Schließlich bin ich in Neukölln. Hilario is played actor George Martinez de Hoyos. In 1960, when filming, he was 40 years old, and sadly, on May 6, 1997, he passed away at the age of 76. That's a feeling worth dying for. Have you ever... Villager is played by actor Natividad Vachio. In 1960, when filming, he was 48 years old. And sadly, on May 30th, 1996, he passed away at the age of 83 in Burbank, California, USA. Because I never have found any precious stones. But wait, you mean Aztec treasure buried in the hills from when the Spaniards came? That's exactly what I mean. Vin Tanner is played by actor Steve McQueen. In 1960, when filming, he was 30 years old, and sadly, on November 7, 1980, he passed away at the age of 50 in Ciudad Juarez, Mexico. <laughs> Julie, 
just drifting. Any action here? Yeah, grocery clerk bouncing one of those bars across the street, if that's your taste. Uh. Sotero is played by actor Rico Alanis. In 1960, when filming, he was 41 years old, and sadly on March 9, 2015, he passed away at the age of 95 in Los Angeles, California, USA. Well, he'll leave us alone from now on. You think so? Of course. He'll go away. There are other villages. Other villages that don't stink the way we do. Harry Luck is played by actor Brad Dexter. In 1960, when filming, he was 43 years old, and sadly, on December 12, 2002, he passed away at the age of 85 in Rancho Mirage, California, USA. For some farmers. Hey, you old Cajun. You don't talk so good, but you always know what's going on. Now, Harry, 